Thanks for watching ED Explained, expert advice on treating erectile dysfunction video series. Hi, I'm Dr. Mara Heeman. I'm a urologist at the University of Washington in Seattle, and I specialize in male sexual health, including erectile dysfunction. I'm here today to talk about penile implants and how patients can determine if a penile implant is the right ED treatment for them. The definition of a penile implant, such as the Titan implant, is a three-part inflatable device. It has three parts, including the cylinders that fit inside the penis, the pump that activates the device, and the reservoir that holds the fluid that moves through the hydraulic system. It's important to know that the device is completely inside the body, so this is completely concealed and very natural appearing. The device is implanted during a small procedure through a single small opening in the skin. And what I love about this implant is that it is a long-term ED solution. It is the only treatment we have that allows for spontaneity without the hassle of having to wait for pills or use injections. It looks and feels like a natural erection. Like I mentioned, the device has three parts. The reservoir that's in the abdomen that holds the fluid that moves through the system, the cylinders that are in a man's natural erectile space, and then the pump which is inside the scrotum. When a man wants to be erect, he activates the pump and fluid moves from the reservoir into the penile cylinders. He's able to stay erect for as long as he wants, really putting him back in the driver's seat. When he no longer wants to be erect, he clicks the deflate button on the pump which is inside the scrotum and fluid moves back from the cylinders back into the reservoir, allowing the penis to be soft and flaccid and very natural appearing. So you may be wondering who is a good candidate for the implant. In general, those who have failed other treatments such as pills may be good candidates for the implant. Certain patient populations, like men who have had a radical prostatectomy or treatment for prostate cancer, may be good candidates. Another large population of men who are good candidates for implants are patients with diabetes for long periods of time. Another special patient population are men who have poor dexterity with their hands. They may be good candidates for malleable implants, like the Genesis implant. This implant consists of two semi-rigid rods that are inserted into the penis, and it does not have components like the pump. So when a man wants to get an erection, he just bends the penis up, and when he no longer wants the erection, he bends it back down. It's very easy to use for men with poor dexterity. So who is not a good candidate for a penile implant? You're not a good candidate if you have an infection going into surgery, such as a urinary tract infection or a genital skin infection. You're not a good candidate if you're allergic to silicone. If you have any problems with urination, such as bladder outlet obstruction or neurogenic bladder, you're not a good candidate for a penile implant. It's important to know that despite the excellent long-term durability of the implant, they may need to be replaced within your lifetime. So if you prefer not to have a second surgery later in life, if needed, you may not be a good candidate for a penile implant. Here are a few reasons to consider a penile implant. It is a discrete treatment for ED. A penile implant is not noticeable when your penis is flaccid. Patient satisfaction rates are very high. Patients report 98% satisfaction rate for their tightened penile implants, and partner satisfaction rate is also very high at 96%. This is an ED treatment option with minimal recovery time. Every man is different, but a typical recovery time after a penile implantation procedure is four to six weeks. After you're fully recovered, you can begin to enjoy sex again. This is also a cost-effective treatment. Penile implants have been shown to be the most cost-effective ED treatment over a 10-year period, and the insurance coverage is strong. Penile implants are prescribed by a physician, like myself, and are generally covered by most insurance plans, including Medicare. One of the most important considerations is spontaneity. Penile implants give patients the ability to have an erection instantly and spontaneously anytime. Like any surgical procedure, there are risks that can arise. Specific to implant surgery, one risk is infection of the implant. Other risks include malfunction of the implant, which is very low and typically occurs after about 10 years. Risks like bleeding, infection, and anesthetic risks are also present for penile implant surgery. Some other potential complications that can arise include scrotal swelling, autoinflation of the implant, and discomfort. Additionally, once you have the procedure, you are dependent on the device and will not be able to get a natural erection. To learn more about risks that may be specific to you, I recommend talking with your physician. 
To find a physician who specializes in ED and penile implants, visit coloplastmenshealth.com and click Find a Physician.